I think it's a great hire. I really do think it's a great hire. And I'm talking about knowing Zim and, and how he runs defenses, that's not even a question there. But knowing Zim's personality and, and intensity in which he brings to practice is why I think this is a great hire. And he was the DB coach. DB coach when got you the defensive assistant. Yeah. Ninety four. Got to, then became defensive back coach in ninety five. And I'm gonna tell you something, dude. I love them as a defensive back coach because him and Dion were together over there. And I'm gonna tell you, we had the best practices, intense practices, one on one was all out, and it was heated every day. I mean, literally every day. Zim and Axe would be over there cussing each other out, going at it. You tell them DBs to stop. Keep doing it. You know, it was the... What happened? This is Hubbard Alexander. Hubbard your, Alexander, your receiver my receivers, coach, coach yeah. and yeah. Zim, I mean, they were going at it because, you know, receivers and DBs, we going at it one-on-one. <laughs> this is what they need in practice. This is when I when I heard your head coach, our head coach, stand up at a podium and say, we were not prepared, we're not ready today. That gutted me. Gutted me. That means you 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 your practices, you should have been ready right now. You should have known you're going to be ready once you see practice. And the, the intensity of the practice told you you were not ready. That won't happen with them. Zim will call you out, cuss you out. He was going to do everything to get you going. And if he had a Deion Sanders, I know he'll work well with a Trayvon Diggs because Deion going to help seal this thing together. Deion will reach out to all of those guys and he say, will. hey, you got my guy. He was with Deion. You got my guy, man. Y'all make sure you give my guy all the respect. And they will. You know, he's worked with a Charles Haley, so I know he knows what to do with a Michael Parsons. And he's going to call those guys out just like he called out everybody, including me or anybody. That's why I think this is a great hire. Zim, you need that kind of attitude in the practices that at the Dallas Cowboys, and I think they've been missing that for quite a while. It's a, good, it's a, it's a damn good hire. The, the, you know, when you look at it, familiarity speaks. He understands and he trusts the people in the building, and he understands who they are. That's important. Um, did he have other opportunities? I'm sure he had many opportunities since leaving Minnesota to go somewhere and be a defensive coordinator. But it's all about the right fit. It's all about understanding. Are they going to give me the right personnel? Yep. Can I get these players to respond to my coaching style, which they probably need? Because he is a dog cusser. I mean, yeah. I had him as yeah. my defensive coordinator while I was with the Cowboys. He's, he's, he's and he dog, is a pretty, he's a pretty good defensive coordinator. It is. I mean, when you think about it, he, he was in Cincinnati. They made nice little runs. Nice. His defense was solid, defense. Was solid and sound. Okay? He was with Atlanta for one year as a D.C., Okay, they were okay. Right. Minnesota, he was doing great when he first got there. Toward the end, the defense got a little older. They couldn't replace the players. Yeah. Eventually, they had to let him go. But I think they hit on something, man. It's a good match with Mike McCarthy's philosophy on the offensive side of the ball. He's not going to be bringing all this crazy pressure all the time, no. putting people in harm's way right. on that, a consistent that, that, basis. Right. Fitting, fit, fit, you know, fit. Right. I, I think it's a good hire for him. I'm, and, and on top of that, if for some reason Jerry starts to get uneasy on Mike McCarthy, you got a former head coach who's had some success with familiarity because you know how Jerry operates, Michael. He'll go hire somebody on the staff that he knows before he brings somebody else in from the outside. Mm. So you two almost convinced me. Michael brought me up out of my chair. We're talking about those practice sessions oh, man, because that, that I did not know that. You made extremely valid points because you saw him up close and personal as a DC under Bill Parcells, which is, it's a hard job to, to, yeah. to, to convince right. Bill that, that you're doing the right thing. I got caught up in the Rex Ryan story, I admit it, because I got excited because Rex seemed so excited about campaigning to be the Dallas Cowboys DC because he said the Super Bowl ingredients are right there. And he said, I think I could add a little more 
than the previous DC did talking about Dan Quinn. And I didn't mind Rex saying that because I think Rex believes that with all his heart and soul. Rex is more flash and dash than Mike Zimmer is. He's more outspoken. He's more media savvy and friendly and accessible. Mike's pretty blah with the media. Now, he's not blah behind closed doors or behind closed practice doors, because to your point, and you've made this point, you, you think he's he's a tough guy and a dog cusser. Yeah. I, I don't get any of that publicly at all. I oh, watched this thing no, yesterday. You got to watch, you gotta watch, you gotta watch some of his Mike press no conferences joke. as a head he's coach. No joke, yeah. nah, he was, he was pretty intense as a head coach at pressers. Yeah, he, 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 he's, he's pretty intense. He'll this team, on. as you well know, needs a Michael Irvin in the locker room. Heck, needs a Keyshawn in the locker room. Needs somebody right. who will light a pregame fire. And that's why I like it. Okay? And, and you like think it. he will. And that's why I like it. Okay. Yeah, he, he's going to challenge these guys. He's going to challenge. He'll tell D Trayvon, you good? But I coached at Deion Sanders. You know, he, he'll look at Michael Parsons. You're a bad boy. But I coach a five ringer in Charles Haley. He did. You see what I'm saying? He will, he so, so what are you? Will you show me what they showed me? Show me he, he, he will he will call them out and challenge them that yeah. way. And you need that. And, and Richard has the belief why I don't know that that style doesn't work in international football. Richard anymore. Sherman with the younger players. I'm like yeah. that, that. That's not true. Yeah. Right. That's so far from the truth. But that's what he believes. I'm like Michael. I done had Charles Haley. I done had Deion Sanders. I done had Darren Woodson's. He's going to let right, him know right, right. Put Woody what time it is. Right. Can you Woody dog in cuss in today's NFL with today's 25 and under players? Absolutely, 100%. Yeah, yeah. I'm with you on that. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Because, yeah, you can. They, because, yeah, because they respect, respect you for who respect. you are. And that's why he's throwing out the Charles Haley's and the Deion Sanders. Because yeah. he's saying, I coach them the same. You ain't them. You trying to be them. If I coach them like this, this is how I can get you to them, trying to help you be them. That's what he's saying. Mm. I saw Dion Saturday in Vegas when we talked about Mike Zimmer, and he just he loves him. raves about he him. He loves him. Like he loves him. He loves him. And he said, I should have hired him myself, but he sort of advised for them last year, and he wanted, obviously, to return to the National Football League, and this is the Dallas Cowboys who are calling, and you're just not going to turn down that because he said, I want to be here because – he knows Jerry. He knows the drill. He knows the routine. He knows the good and the bad and the ugly of that franchise. And he thinks I can navigate. I can deal with. Right. And and they right. do have pieces and on they defense. Got, they yeah, got, yeah, this is the best. They this got is, a great this is the best offense that Zim has DC for. Best defense. Um, yeah. No, yeah. best offense. Yeah, oh, okay. oh, that he's. Oh, that he's I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, DC. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay, team. that's true. So best right. offense. And, 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 and yeah. since you brought that up, I shall do this. And when Stefan Diggs left Minnesota, it was not because of Mike Zim. It was not because of Zim. It was. It was the thing they had with the quarterback going on and giving the two minute passes to the other guy, Adam Thielen over there. <laughs> and, 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 and you remember. Zim wasn't real set on Kirk Cousins either. So, I mean, Stefan and Zim was probably together. Yeah. As we may see them again one day. Mm -hmm. Just remember that uh -huh. I said it her first right here. <laughs> I'll remember that. Look at that smile. All right, up next, we need to discuss this. <laughs> Stefan. An NBA player was arrested yeah. for punching another NBA player at the arena? Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Do you want more highlights from the show? Make sure to click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from Undisputed.